Professional summer schools were held before the college was organized and contributed to expanding its influence considerably. The Brahms sung here is standard fare for a Westminster professional school and is sung on a very high level of musicianship. Summer vocal camps for young people have contributed largely towards interesting pupils in coming to the college. Canterbury Fair is their fair. And here is the unforgettable Dr. McCurdy at his best in an annual Christmas chant rehearsal. Who, having participated in one, can ever forget it? In the 50s, a very strong graduate department was headed by Warren Martin. This is the graduate department's own choir in the Lacrimosa from Cherubini's Requiem, accompanied by the Princeton Symphony, Nicholas Harshanyi, conductor.
We close this period in Westminster's history with excerpts from the philosophy of John Finley Williamson as he spoke to a summer seminar in Denver in 1963. It is the last tape we have of his voice. Following it is the rare sound of the voice of Rhea B. Williamson, equally important in the establishment of Westminster Choir College as she participated in the 1957 commencement. And finally, the prayer of Dr. Lee H. Bristol, Jr. at the memorial service for John Finley Williamson. Long years ago, we decided that the important thing was not the ability a man, that a man had, but where he was going. There are two things in life that you have to be concerned with, self or service. If you adopt self, I'm very sorry for you. History has shown that the man that took self was destroyed. I did, don't need to take time to go in and tell you all about that. You know. All you have to do is pick up a paper and read about the people who are still being destroyed because they take self. You're exposed to a philosophy all of the time. Make friends. Then you'll make money. Please people. Then you'll make money. A false philosophy. You don't live to please people. You don't live to make friends. That's the result of service instead of self. The kind of technique that I'm trying to teach to you is not a choir technique. It's an individual technique to allow your voice to find its fullest expression. What do I mean by that? Control of amplitude, control of frequency, control of overtone. If you have those three things, you will have a great voice. Now where are we going? No place. You're learning notes. You're not bad readers. But when you get the notes right, what do you have? Music? No, you haven't even started. Music only starts where you find the soul inside of the music. The soul the composer puts there, and that comes out. And that has to be done under control of amplitude and rhythm and the controlling of frequencies and overtones. No, you must accent every beat if I do it again. No, give me an accent on both beats. No, accent that, Jesus. Now, I've seen men do that, and then they say, do what I say, not what I do. Did you ever hear that? But that's a lie. There's a law called empathy. If you don't know that law, you're wasting time. A lot of you young people don't know that. You're trying to have experiences that you haven't earned. You're no different than I am. So learn to project. Whether people like it or not, you don't care. Then learn what you are projecting. Don't waste time projecting nonsense. I saw a wonderful cartoon in the bulletin board in your church, Smith. You remember it? Did you put it there? No. They have a mixed choir. And one of these very gushy ladies talking to one of the girls. Oh, yes, we have a wonderful choir. We have a mixed choir. Well, now, what is a mixed choir? Well, when you have fat sopranos and lean sopranos and tall sopranos and short sopranos and colored jewel sopranos and lyric sopranos and dramatic sopranos and no nasty sopranos and noisy sopranos and blatant sopranos that's a mixed choir <laughs> and i told you about that church this morning that i refused to conduct because they had 35 sopranos 29 altos eight tenors and 12 basses and they were all singing soprano For the degree of Master of Music, will please present themselves as their names are called.
blessed son was heartened on the first Palm Sunday by the singing of little children and did himself sing psalms with disciples in the upper room, we give thanks to thee this day for the life and work of John Finley Williamson, co-founder of this college and lifelong minister of music. The qualities of genius with which he was blessed and the tireless use which he made of them. We thank thee for his lifetime of service devoted to the ministry of music and helping others to grow. We remember with gratefulness his work as teacher, unlocking a voice the student did not realize he had within him. As director, drawing a rich, mature sound from even young voices. As college president, dreaming the dreams which gave us the campus we enjoy today. As counselor and friend, lifting some troubled spirit by the enigmatic power to inspire which was ever within him. We give thee thanks that his work among us has its living memorial in the continuance of this great college, in the host of students and alumni who week by week in all corners of the earth pass along to others what he faithfully shared with them, and in the Christian church he served with such distinction. We give thee thanks that the world need only stop in many an area to listen to a certain sound and know that the spirit of John Finley Williamson has been there. As husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, teacher and friend, he will be sorely missed, O Lord, and so we entrust his departed spirit to thine unsleeping care, knowing that thou canst do more for him than we can desire or pray for. All of which we pray in the name of him who long ago comforted his own grieving disciples, saying of his father's house, if it were not so, I would have told you. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.